Welcome back to my channel. This is my haul this week. So I got something pretty convenient to cook and I'm still working on using up a lot of leftovers out of the freezer. Things I made a few weeks ago and froze the leftovers. So I'm trying to use through that and through what else I have in my fridge and my pantry. So it's not a huge haul, but I got a substantial amount of stuff anyway. I did buy stuff to make salmon. So they don't have the one that I normally buy, which is the Island Jerk Salmon from Sprouts. But they have this, which is similar, it's just skewered. So we'll try this, it's got instructions, and we'll go ahead and try it, and hopefully it'll be similar, because I really liked that salmon. And I also got some shrimp to go along with it, same flavor, the Jamaican jerk, spicy flavor. This one has veggies in it. But I wasn't sure how much salmon would be, because I it's it's obviously not four whole pieces. So I didn't know if I would need a little more protein to supplement. So I got some shrimp to go along with that. Try something different. With the fish and shrimp, I'm going to do butternut squash. Just going to saute it in a pan with olive oil. Add an onion with that. And then I have some asparagus in the freezer that I bought a few weeks ago and didn't use. So I'm going to use that up. I've got some cucumbers just for snacks. I didn't buy too many snacks. I still have some celery that I'm working on finishing up. And I'll pick up some more fresh veggies and fruit when I go into work. I like to run into Whole Foods sometimes and get them fresh. But I did pick up two cucumbers. I like to have sliced cucumbers for a snack. I also have a little bit of salad stuff left, so the cucumbers will probably go for that too. I bought some more tomatoes. Like I said, I have just a little bit of salad stuff left. And I thought this would be a smaller container of tomatoes, but it's fine. I'll use them all up. I'll find ways to use them. And tomatoes are just really good this time of year. I also got, this was just something I wanted to try. It's not a reduced fat cheese, but I wanted to try the flavor. It's the Hatch Jack, so I guess it's Hatch Chili flavor. But I thought that sounded good, so I'll find different ways to try that. I got two yogurts. I got a cherry and black currant and a coconut so that's what we're doing this week and i still have two yogurts in the fridge so i'll finish those off and then i'll have these i bought some more espresso blend cold brew i had some that i was finishing off i had ended up with a couple extra bottles that i needed to use up so this is what i got for now and i bought some more olive oil i'm almost out so when i'm out i'll switch to this bottle and I bought some Olipop. So we've got the classic root beer. Haven't tried this one yet. And a peaches and cream Barbie Olipop. So we'll see how these are. I've been enjoying them. I like the poppy. It might not have been Olipop that I didn't like. There was another one that I didn't like. And then I got this Olipop in an orange flavor. And I really liked that. So Maybe it wasn't the Olipop itself that I didn't like. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned to see how I put all these meals together to stay on track with points and calories. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I ended up buying a few more things. I ordered this from Fred Meyer. I was going to go into Safeway and get them, but I just ran out of time. But I've got to make some cornbread for a work event. We're having like a potluck. I probably got more than I needed, but I got the honey cornbread variety as well as this one that I have never tried before. The sweet corn. Last time I did the regular one and the honey and everyone liked the honey better. But I thought maybe we'd try the sweet corn and see if it's maybe just a little less sweet, but still good. I got this. I know this is kind of pointy with Weight Watchers points, but it works with calories. Usually I can fit it in easily with calories, but I try to weigh it so I don't go too far over 100 calories with it. But sometimes you just need a splurge. I don't do it every day, but I like to have this sometimes on my iced coffee. I've got this Mexican style shredded cheese. This is the reduced fat. I just like to have a reduced fat type of cheese for when I just need a little bit less calories or points for the day and I wanna add cheese to something. It's good to have on hand. I got some thin sliced baby Swiss. 
One way that I cut points and calories with cheese is just to buy the thin slices because it's really enough for a sandwich and it cuts down on the points. So I'm a fan of the thin slices. What are you doing, my girl? Since I have a little bit of salad stuff, I went ahead and bought another container of the mozzarella. I can have this maybe with the, the tomatoes and make, I can possibly have this with the tomatoes that I bought and have like a Greek salad. All right, I got the Thomas original. Again, I sometimes get the light version, but sometimes it's just worth it to get the regular. I, I do like them better and that's what I was feeling this week. I've got the eggs that I pulled out of the freezer the egg patties and I'm gonna make some breakfast sandwiches. So I bought these to go with that. I got another salad dressing. This time I got the Greek and I think you got the wrong one. I asked for the light version, but we'll see how many points this one is. It may be fine, but sometimes they make a mistake and it's okay because there have been times when I've gotten a mistake and I've gotten something from someone else's order and I got free food. I've got butter for the cornbread. I got some diet Dr. Pepper. I wanted to cut Dr. Pepper zero sugar, but I guess I didn't have it. Got some milk to make the cornbread. And this was another splurge. Sometimes when I have iced coffee, I don't want to have it with a protein shake. I just want like a regular one. And I do like this chocolate flavored creamer. So again, I don't do it every day. It does add points, but there's a way to work it in and have it sometimes when you just need something that's a change from your regular. So I'll probably have this at some point soon and just enjoy a nice sweet cup of iced coffee. So yeah, I got a lot more and some of it is for work for the potluck, but I'm gonna use up the frozen egg patties from a few weeks ago. And I always like to have this in the fridge. So it's all good stuff. This will help me use up the tomatoes that I have. I got all those extra tomatoes. These are the fish and shrimp trays. I love these because they're so convenient. You just pop them in the oven according to the instructions. Take the plastic part off first, of course, and they cook in like 40 minutes. I usually leave them a little longer than the instructions say because I never feel like they're quite done. But this one is the fish. I took the wooden skewers out and this is the shrimp. And I'm just going to put them in the oven, add a little, little bit of oil because of those veggies in the fish but I ended up pulling them out and cooking them separately anyway. I already had the asparagus in the freezer, so it's somewhat of a use up item. I bought it to cook a few weeks ago. I never did, so I'm cooking it today. I used half the bag and I have half the bag left for something else. After the fish was cooked, I pulled out the veggies from the tray and cooked them a little longer. I just felt like they needed a little more time to sizzle. After the asparagus was cooked, I pulled them out and added the oil from the pan that the veggies were cooking in and then i added my onions into that and let it really cook down and cooked out some of that broth that it had made and then i added my butternut squash to that to saute the butternut squash and the onions i only used one bag and i wish i would have used two because it was very heavy on the onions so 
Next time, I'm going to go ahead and use both bags, but I have an extra bag of butternut squash in the freezer for that. And of course, I added Tony Sashri's to season. I divided this up into three servings to take with me to work. I only counted four points for the oils that were in the tray and then the olive oil that I added to cook but everything else was zero points. So this can be a really low point option and I'm not gonna skimp on the oil because olive oil is a healthy fat. And I think the fat that was in the tray was like canola oil. So I don't think that's too bad either. It was a good week to use up leftovers. So all of this I had in the fridge, I used up the last of my chicken from the freezer. The only thing pointed was the Greek dressing and the mozzarella, everything else was zero points. So this was a good all around salad. I also made use of the egg patties that I'd frozen that I made for breakfast to make breakfast sandwiches. And I made them on the English muffins. It was really good. I'm glad I got the regular English muffins. It was worth a splurge on points. I only use a third a serving of that Hatch Jack shredded cheese. So that cut down on the points, even though it's a full fat cheese. So this was a little bit of a higher point breakfast. I use real butter instead of the I can't believe it's not butter. So that added three points for a half a tablespoon of butter. But I still think it was worth it. It was a good filling breakfast. If you're going to have a heavier meal, have it at breakfast. So no regrets here. I was nice and full and ready for my day. I also used up the last of the beef chili that I made a while back. This was my last container of chili out of the freezer. It wasn't a whole lot, but I jazzed it up with some corn chips and some of that Hatch Jack cheese from Sprouts. So it was a nice little meal. I actually felt pretty full afterward, even though it went a whole lot. I've also been trying to include an electrolyte drink more often. I like the ones that you mix with hot water. They make kind of like a chocolatey type of drink. The brand I get is Element and they've got lots of flavors. They even have the fruity flavors that I like to have with cold water. But sometimes I just want a hot chocolate type of drink. And we had a little bit of some cooler weather where it was into the 70s at night and I went ahead and had some of those warm drinks. And this was the chocolate chai. I really like the chocolate raspberry and the chocolate caramel, but I'm trying not to use all those up, so I'm making use of these here. But it's just a nice way to get some electrolytes in. I went out with my friends to a Broadway show. This time we saw the one company. It was really cute and it's fun to go out and see these shows. I'm enjoying it whenever we get a chance to. And then afterward, we went to an Indian restaurant that was nearby. I got butter chicken. A friend of mine got tikka masala and someone else got curry. They also got the chai tea. I didn't get any because I was too hot. It was too hot to have hot tea for me, but I just had a little bit because I had that big piece of bread. I ended up having another serving about this size of the butter chicken and the rice, but I didn't want to overdo it even though we went out because I'm seeing some progress and I don't want to jinx it. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned next week to see more recipes and more of what I eat to stay on track.